Hi everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Shay and today we are doing a video that is slightly different than what I normally do, but this video is going to be about how I learned Italian in one month. Disclaimer, I didn't learn the entire language. I am not entirely fluent in Italian, but it is just about me using some tips and tricks and different techniques that I use to become somewhat conversational, to be able to understand a large portion of the language just by repetition and really studying every day for this whole month. So if you are interested, keep watching. I will share my nine tips and tricks of how I got to my level of where I am today. I 100% plan on continuing to learn the language and at the end of this video I will have a short portion of me actually speaking in Italian so you can see what I learned. So stay tuned. This video was inspired by Nathaniel Drew's video of how I learned Italian in one week. I think his channel is amazing. I love his content and I will link that video down below because it is very inspiring and amazing the work that he could do in one week. I obviously gave myself one month. Here it is. Roll the tape. <laughs> Okay, so here's what I started off with, and Nathaniel Drew actually mentioned this in his video. First thing I did was look at a list of the most common thousand words in Italian. Now, one of the biggest things is when you're learning a new language, especially in the classroom, they always start off with things like colors, foods, some things that it's like, how to say words that you probably won't even use that often in the beginning. I would say try to start as broad as possible and then narrow it down. Because if you think about it, there's so many like connector words and and so because this and then verbs that you use all the time in English. So I looked up a list of the most common 1000 words in Italian and started making flashcards. Now what I recommend is don't try to make a thousand flashcards all at once because that would be super overwhelming. What I did is I broke it up. I did about a hundred a day and that may sound really daunting, but there are a lot of cognates in Italian, so that means words that seem pretty similar in English, so you can kind of figure out the meaning of them. But also for me, I know Spanish, so there are a lot of words that are common in Spanish that I could also kind of guess what they meant in Italian. Don't be scared of like, I can't learn 100 words in a day. You could even break it up more. You could just focus on 50 a day. But you know, if you think about it, you do 100 a day, that's only 10 days for you to get the thousand words. And then what I recommend is making those cards and reviewing them every day. Don't just make the cards, put them aside and move on. I have my cards in this lovely flashcard box. You can do flashcards on Quizlet too, but for me personally, I think it actually helps with my memory if I write it down. I can just take these anywhere or I would just like take out a chunk and study them every once in a while. And repetition is so, so important for actually committing the stuff to memory. So flashcards are probably number one, what you should focus on. Okay, so I thought I would do a little recap of how the first week is going. I've listed out some of the different exercises and things that I've been doing. I realized that I definitely had to kind of rearrange my schedule for what initially I had planned out to do. And I think that's the most important part is that you never really know what's gonna work best for you until you're trying it and you're implementing new things and new strategies. So I definitely would say, come up with an overall plan and some things that you think you wanna try, maybe like mapping out what you want to do week by week but be open to changing that a little bit and finding what is working for you and what isn't and even if you find new strategies you should implement those as well because my initial schedule has switched so much within this past week of what I've been doing. Yeah, so the exciting thing is that the videos and the vlogs that I have been watching in Italian, I have definitely understood a lot more even after just the first few days, which is really cool. But it's really great because it also helps me pick out words that I should know or that are used very often because I think, you know, that's the most important part. So there's always gonna be ups and downs, but you can't let those really tough times just stop you from trying because it's a process, you know? So yeah, for next week, I am going to schedule out my plan and kind of map it out day by day of the things that I want to keep doing and push myself to go a little bit further. 
and I will check in with you guys later. Tip number two is finding commonly used verbs and learning how to conjugate them. I first focused on the present tense just so you can talk about what's happening now. And present tense is probably the easiest for now. The most common verbs are pretty easy to find. It's words like to be, to have, to go, things like that. And then you can just learn how to conjugate them Unfortunately, a lot of the most commonly used ones are irregular verbs, meaning that they won't follow the exact pattern of conjugation, but that's just one of the th those things that you also have to commit to memory. So in addition to studying your flashcards every day, I would recommend learning those verbs and then conjugating them every day. Tip number three, what I did is I actually kept a journal where I wrote about what I did that day, some of my thoughts, or you could even write like short stories or poems if you wanted. I just had this short little journal where I wrote down as if I was doing like a journal entry every day, would just kind of write what I was doing. It started off really simple. It was like in the morning I had coffee and stuff like that and you're like Wow, I sound like a child But if you think about it you learn a new language when you are a child and you say really basic sentences and that's how you learn Don't be upset if your sentences are so simple. I mean, that's the way you start learning You're not automatically gonna be able to write this great novel right when you start learning a new language Tip number four, in the back of this notebook I also kept a log of what I was studying every day so I just kind of wrote down, the first day I started, I made 100 new flashcards, uh, did five verb conjugations, uh, tested myself on the connector words in Quizlet, watched some vlogs in Italian, uh, which I will touch on later. That's important because you can realize what you're not studying enough of. You know, you should have a good mix of learning grammar, of studying vocab, of speaking, of hearing, writing, and I feel like a lot of people might either try to do all of that in one day or not focus enough on one area. Oh, I'm not really studying grammar that much or I'm not listening enough. And that way you can kind of see where you're falling short and where you need to like add more to your studying routine. Tip number five, it's very important to hear the language. So I love watching videos on YouTube. At first, you have no idea what's happening because it seems like they talk so fast, but it really helps to hear the way the language is supposed to sound. And it also helps because you're hearing what people would normally talk about. You pick up little phrases, you know, that are, you hear a lot in the videos and that they repeat. And it's also important to watch TV shows. One of my favorite Italian shows on Netflix is called Baby. It's a pretty dark show, just so you know, <laughs> so you're prepared, but I really love it. It's shot in Rome and I was obsessed with it. It's one of the reasons actually I wanted to start learning Italian because I loved the sound of the language and I thought the show was so cool. I first watched it with English subtitles just because that was when I didn't know any Italian and now I'm going back and watching it with Italian subtitles just to match what I hear to what the actual words are and that's really important watching TV shows or movies with the Italian subtitles because if you watch with the English subtitles that's not going to be beneficial because you're just going to be reading and not connecting the Italian words tip number six is listening to music again this is another way to expose your ear to the sounds of Italian if you memorize song lyrics, that can also help with pronunciation and knowing what certain words mean. I like to look up the lyrics online and kind of read along with them as I listen to the song. I will link down some of my favorite Italian songs below. A lot of them come from the soundtrack of that Netflix show Baby that I was just talking about. And there's one in particular called uh, Da Sola that I love and it's like just such a bop. So great song, I've always listened to it in the car. Tip number seven, this is really great. Once you kind of establish a little bit of an understanding, you should download the app called Hello Talk. It's really great because it's the perfect way to actually connect with Italian native speakers. So you make a profile, and you know you write what language is your native language and also what language you're trying to learn so it's very like a mutually beneficial app because you can connect with people who are Italian and who want to learn English and then you can kind of both speak in English and Italian you send each other chats it's almost like whatsapp but the cool thing about the app is that you have the option to correct someone's message so let's say I write something in Italian the person who I'm talking to can make little edits to my exact message and correct it and send it to me and be like, this is the correct word order, this is the correct word, oh, you messed up here, like that kind of thing. And it's really beneficial. There's also audio, so you can send audio messages to work on your pronunciation. And it's really cool because I actually met so many great people. Like I never ran into weird, creepy people. It was really just people who wanted to learn English for an exam or maybe they're a student or, 
you know, they're looking to learn it for work or a trip that they're going on and then they love for you to also be learning and trying to speak Italian and everyone's really patient, you know, with you. Really cool app, highly recommend it. Tip number eight, I think it is important to get a workbook so you can actually be practicing writing and using a structured way to learn the language. Some books aren't fantastic. I use this just to supplement what I've been learning. So I got this book actually a while ago, like before I actually went to Rome and never really used it, but it's called Italian Conversation. I would focus on books that emphasize conversation and not just like learning Italian because then you're gonna get like the classroom method which won't be that beneficial but this is good because it walks you through all the little parts of conversation it has you do writing exercises that you know sometimes you you wouldn't discipline yourself to do so I think this is a great book I wouldn't just use this again it's good to supplement when I need to do like my grammar studies tip number nine and what I have been doing towards these last few days is reading children's stories in Italian. So I found this really great website, again, I'll put it down below, that has Italian stories of your common fables and fairy tales that you know. All those kind of stories on this website that are translated into Italian and they have also an audio portion of it so you can hear the story read aloud and then I would recommend mimicking how it sounds. This is super good for pronunciation because for me, learning a language, I wanna be able to pronounce it correctly, I probably won't be 100% accurate. I want to try to get as good as possible, having the correct intonation and flair, you know? It's really helpful to read these stories aloud and mimicking how it sounds. So those are my tips, and I just want to recap a little bit of how I learned the language, some major tips that you should follow. First of all, you definitely should do enough research. There's so many online resources that are fantastic. It's so crazy that we have access to all these resources online to learn a language. The only thing I spent money on was this workbook. For me, I did kind of create this overall plan before I started, but things came up, things happened that I had to shift around what my schedule was. And so don't worry if like you craft this whole plan and it just gets ruined because there are a lot of things that you don't realize you need to learn because you don't have an understanding of the language. But I would say if you want to make just a basic overall plan, a good idea is every day you have vocab review and conjugation. So that's reviewing your flashcards and conjugating verbs. Also what you want to add in your plan is dividing up one day devoted to grammar, one day devoted to listening, writing, that kind of stuff. For me, I did focus you know, one day on learning new grammar, but then maybe later in the day I would watch vlogs or videos or listen to music. Exposing yourself to the language every day is important and that's something you can do on your commute to work or when you know, you're working out, you can listen to podcasts. Just always finding ways to expose yourself to the language is number one most important. Also, just start speaking. I know for me, speaking is my weakest part. Now that I've watched all these videos and vlogs, I can actually watch them and understand most of what's happening, which is super exciting. But then if I were to go speak about something, I just totally blank. Sometimes what I do is I'll like talk about my day when I'm in the shower, you know, just like try to talk, try to understand how sentences are constructed. Just practicing that, even if you're wrong, like just learn new vocab, just try and practice. And the more you speak, the better you will get at it. Obviously, if you have a friend or somebody who speaks Italian, that would be prime, perfect. That's exactly what you need to practice um, and learn. All right, now for the fun part, you get to hear me speak Italian. Hopefully it's good. Don't come at me. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk a little bit about myself. I will put English subtitles down below because, you know, so you guys know what I'm talking about. It's pretty fun, actually. I love speaking the language. It sounds so cool. Ciao, mi chiamo Shea. Ho 22 anni e sono di Scottsdale, Arizona. Ho due sorelle e vivono in Los Angeles e New York. Mi piace leggere, scrivere e fare video per YouTube. Ho vissuto... Ho vissuto a Roma l'anno scorso e uh, voglio ritornare un giorno. Presto vado a Los Angeles per trovare un lavoro. Grazie per aver guardato questo video e a presto.
All right, so that was it. Um, so again, that's not like the only thing that I've learned, but I think I've done a pretty good job. Like I am very proud of myself for keeping up with this. Bottom line is I am super excited to keep learning Italian because I feel like I've come so far and there's so much left for me to learn about the language. And I think that's the most important part is really loving the language and being excited about it. So thank you so much for watching this video or as I said, grazie per aver guardato questo video and I hope to check in with you guys soon. I will try to do some more photography videos again. Sorry, I've been kind of stuck in a creative rut. Make sure you subscribe, comment below if you have any questions about learning a new language and Italian especially. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. Obviously it was a month in the making, but I really appreciate you subscribing and watching my videos. Thank you, thank you so much. Ciao.